Hello guys, so Jerry speaking. Welcome to OJ for Speed Ads for 1,642. Today back to Millionaire Kids Edition, Game of One. The ads begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> No commentary on this, huh? Okay. So how do I just out here? So what the hell is that? Okay, that makes sense. Who wants to be a millionaire? Kids edition. Thank you, Regis, and hello, okay. everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's now time for game number one of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Kids Edition. We're going to have one on contestant. Own, huh? okay. And for those of you who don't know how to play Millionaire, and because it's my first game, I'm going to show you how to play, or Regis will explain. Okay, here's the house. I'll show you a question of four possible answers to choose from. To answer, press the corresponding letter on your keyboard. If you're correct, you'll win the dollar value of that question and advance on to the next level. And check it out, you've got three lifelines to help you along the way. Just hit the L key to select one. First, there's 50-50. This lifeline will take away two incorrect answers, leaving the correct one and one incorrect answer. Then there's the phone a friend. We've got eight sharp kids from all across North America to help you if you're not too sure about an answer. If you use this lifeline, we'll get one of them on the phone. That's a good question, and luckily I have an equally good answer. It's safe. Your final lifeline will allow you to ask the audience. We'll get to see the results of a poll of kids your age offering their answer to the question. Cat. If you have used all three of your lifelines and are still unsure, you can choose to press the W key and walk away. You'll keep the money you've won up to this point, and if your score is high enough, you'll be listed on tonight's leaderboard. However, the most important thing to remember is if you miss a single question on your way to the million, you're toast. You're gone. Kaput. Game over, man. And that's how you play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Thank you, Regis. So we're going to type in my name, and as long as I win at hey, least $1,000, I will start a run for this game. Right. Type in my Cap. full name, and let's play Millionaire. Cap. I used to play this game all the time growing up as a kid, and it was a wow. lot of fun. Let's get going here with your first question of the game. So the first five questions are relatively easy. I can just breeze through this with no problem. Where do high school students typically report each school day? That's really easy. That would be the the homeroom. Wow. Going with answer B for sure. Okay. Nice going. You're right. That's a hundred dollars. We're gonna add another hundred dollars to this next question if That's I get it right. Two hundred dollars. And as you can see, the amounts highly in white. Those are the safe haven. So if I reach the one thousand or the thirty-two thousand level, I'm guaranteed to walk away with that least amount of money. What kind of food is jerky? That's easy. A. Dried meat. Final answer. Jumping right in on answer A. Fine. That is just so easy. That's an easy 200 hours. Let's go for 300. Two down. 13 to go. Hey, no sweat here, right? Absolutely not. Exactly. At a radio station, what does GDJ stand easy. for? Disc jockey. Jumping right in on answer A. Fun. Dirty job. Yeah. That's obviously I not right. <laughs> You're right. Yes, it was. That earned me three hundred dollars. Now we go for five hundred dollars. Three in a row and three hundred dollars. Now for five hundred bucks. Take a look at this one. Which of these tasks is not regularly done by Mr. Rogers in the opening of his TV series? Pets the dog. You sure that answer D is the one? Final okay. answer, Regis. Hello. Nice job, kid. You're right. That's five hundred dollars. If I can get this next one, I win a thousand dollars and I start a run, no matter what happens. Fat job here. Let's keep it going and take a look at your one thousand dollar question. Cap. A period of one thousand years. Is called a what? Century. Millennium. Millennium, okay. You're thinking C is styler. 
Okay. Absolutely. Four nine. And I start a run for this game. One thousand dollars. Wow. Nice going, kid. That's one thousand dollars guaranteed. No pressure on this next one. Just a free shot at two thousand dollars. Now the questions are going to get a little harder as the game progresses, but I'm still confident I'll breeze through this to a lot of money. Which of these patriotic symbols did the U.S. astronauts leave on the moon's surface in 1969? The American flag. Final answer. Really, a final answer? You're thinking C is style. Neil Armstrong okay. was the first man to walk on the moon. Yes, exactly. Smooth move, you got it. Two thousand bucks and counting. Now, here comes your $4,000 question. $4,000. Let's see what this question is. Which of these is not the, one of the three things players attempt to determine in the game of Clue? Oh, I hardly play Clue. Yeah, I have no idea. So, I am going to be right, using okay, Ask the Audience. Right, let's check with the kids we to be honest, the I've only played it once. Yeah. B. These kids seem to be leaning in a certain direction. I'll be honest, you why about this? And I'm going to go with B. I've only played it one time as a kid. So, that was a long time ago, so. I didn't know about this one. No idea, I am. Smooth move, you got it. Four thousand dollars. Whoa. Now it's time to double it to eight thousand dollars with this next question. Hey, you're really up on this stuff. Let's see how you do with your eight thousand dollar question. All right, here's the question. On the animated TV show Dexter's Laboratory, where is Dexter's lab hidden? That's easy. Bedroom. I grew up watching that show all the time. Yeah, exactly. exactly. A decent grade, but your answer for this question. Okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's when Cartoon Network was Obviously in its golden sure. years. They That's aired great. shows like Powerpuff Girls, Samurai Jack, Ed and Eddie. You yeah, that show, uh, uh, and, and, and I hated that show. Continue Name it. Cartoon Network is nothing nowadays. I mean... There's people who still like Cartoon Network and right, don't you? like me. Their choice. Halfway there. Let's get that. But the uh, shows like Teen Times Go. Yeah, I hate that show. But the North North TV show is great. But other shows like Des, they're very really good sometimes. But other shows, nah. Continue on. Sixteen thousand dollar question. With Boomerang, they are the old school Cartoon Network shows from the two thousands and the late evening hours. Now we're gonna yeah. go for sixteen thousand. Which of these animals does not have a backbone? Oh boy. This is hard. Fun. I believe that would be crab. I have no idea. I'm sorry. You think Answer D will keep you a happy camper, don't you? Yeah. Yes, I got that right. Thank you. <laughs> now if I reach this next one and get it right. I don't leave less than thirty-two thousand dollars. At least sixteen thousand bucks. That alone will buy your first car. But oh, definitely. Probably definitely. Used car, actually. You better check out your thirty-two thousand dollar question. Here it is. That'll probably get me a good used Toyota Corolla or Camry, because mm -hmm. they can last you a long time. Which of these is the largest of all the deer species? Moose, carbule, white-tailed deer. Or the mule deer. Hmm. Let's go 50-50 on this okay, one. Okay, kid, go ahead. Select okay, 50-50. That should I... narrow things down. Hey, computer, yank two of the incorrect answers out of there, okay? Thank you. Well, we now. I knew it wasn't C or... A little bit here. I never heard of a car bill, so I'm going to go with A, moose. You think answer A is fat. All right. Yes, got it right. Thirty-two thousand dollars. Good thing you got it, Alex. So now these last five questions are going to get even harder. It's a score like thirty-two thousand, but sixty-four thousand—that's even better. Here we go. Absolutely. Then one hundred twenty-five, two hundred fifty, half a million, then one million dollars. Here's the question. 
A scientist studying hummus, humus would most likely examine a sample of what? Seawater, soil, lava, asphalt. Hmm. I'm gonna phone a friend. Lance well, should know this one. Well, he's an internet Lance. you know, and he's probably programming some new website as we speak. Huh? Cyber Lance at your service. Hmm. Regis Philbin Lance, how are you? I'm upgrading my website to a chat room, an e-commerce site, and a regular email newsletter. I should really log on and see that sometime. You should. Anyway, how are you? Well, not bad at all. You think you could lend us a hand with the Millionaire Kids Edition question? Oh, yeah, I can help. Bring that question over to me. Cool. Here's the question. I thought this was going to be an internet question. I don't know this. Can you at least give us a guess? Well, okay, uh, I'll pick B. Does that sound good? Good enough. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Later days, Regis. See you online. We're Gareth Devins, Katia One. He's saying you should choose answer B. I got nothing to lose, so if I get this wrong, I still got $32,000. Like totally so tremendous. I'll guess B, soil. Yeah. That's okay, I was right. Point. B That's was good. right. $64,000. Let's go. On. Your four questions from the top, you can do it. $125,000. Here's the question. Which of these magazines is credited as being written by the usual gang of idiots? Mad, Games, Nickelodeon, 17. Well, I don't think it was Games or 17. So it's either Mad or Nickelodeon. No idea. Hmm. Come on, you better hurry up here or just... I'm going to play it safe and walk away and take the money. You're giving up? Yes. At least you're at the top of tonight's leaderboard. Because I never... That earned you the right to see the correct answer. Oh, it was mad. I was going to guess... Yeah, I was going to mad. Okay. Hey, 64,000 bucks will let you buy new scooters for all your friends. Why not try for the million? Next time you play... Who wants to be a millionaire? Kids edition. So after my first game, I have a total of $64,000, which is not bad to start off a run here. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give this a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified for new uploads on my channel. Thank you all for watching. I just want to remind you that the final showdown episode of Bonzi Buddy will air this Thanksgiving Thanksgiving morning at 11 a.m. Pacific time, so mark your calendars for that. See you all in the next video. So that was um, uh, Million Kids Edition Game Number 1. I did react to this last time. What do you think about this episode? Um, I think it was amazing. Um, so far, this video was a success. That was LGBS 1,000, um, man, 1,642, hope you enjoy it, Sam's going to be, um, a football game request by my good friend, Billy Mooey. Till next time, so John's Brothers, baby, come on, LGBS, soon say out, see ya.
was I the one to see things as I do under the moonlight and the sun? Perception is the question, and the giver holds the key. But the only worth I've ever found was in melody. I still trust.